Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out Apico, the adorable little bee simulator game. Or not bee simulator, but bee keeper simulator, which seems pretty cool. Uh, I wanted to check out the demo for this. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop in. I had to look up how to pronounce Apico because I wasn't totally sure, but this is just a wholesome little beekeeper simulator game, which seems pretty cool. Excuse me, we can have beehive hair, or is that just a hat? Well, now that you've shown me the bee, the beehive hat, I, I, I must go with beehive hat. Uh, what, what color do I want, though? No purple, so I'm gonna go with blue. What's your name? Quasi. Set sail. So basically, the idea I get from this is, you know, like a lot of life sim slash sim games like this. It's like, you just decide that you're gonna go off and do something. Uh, on a remote island or something, and I do love remote islands. And on this remote island, we go to wa uh, raise bees. Dear Quasi, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps had always hoped you wanted to carry on the keeper family tradition. And there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out here with the bees. Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. Yeah, this is the same kind of similar setup to, like, Stardew Valley and stuff. Posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey, and I'll see you soon. Love, Nana. Well, you must be Skipper. Oh-ho, we made it, Quasi. Just as you were getting your sea legs, ho-ho. Here we are, Port Apico, and what a lovely day for a demo. Thank you. It was jolly good to have you aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Do you remember? Do you still remember your way around this place? Oh, no problem. Here, have me map. I know this place like the back of me boat. Your dear old Nana is off exploring at the moment. Uh, okay, my voice is falling apart. But she told me to give you your captain's journal. Should help you find your way around. If you need anything, just holler. Got a few trinkets you might find useful. Now off you go. Luck of the hive mother be with you. And remember, a smooth sea never made a good, never made a skilled sailor. Ho ho. Cool. Okay. Welcome to Apico. Click here to claim reward. Welcome to Apico, a game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve as your guide throughout the game. If you get stuck, lost, stung by bees, this book is here to help. You can open and close this book at any time by pressing G or clicking the icon in the bottom middle toolbar. You can close any books and all menu in the games by pressing escape. As you progress, you'll unlock new chapters, each with their own challenges and rewards. As this is your first chapter, have a free bee! Keep her safe, her name is Beatrice. Cool, thank you, Beatrice. Wow, this feels like the, um... Uh, adventure slash quests mod in um, Minecraft, the one where you get like a quest log and you get rewards and stuff for it. Reminds me of that. I always love that sort of stuff. I'm a really big fan of like sky blocks and stuff, so. Your flooring can be picked up with a hammer. Okay, that's, that, that reminds me of Terraria. All right, getting around. In Opigo, you can move up, left, down, and right with WASD. When you hover your mouse cursor over anything in the world, it will bring up a tooltip in the corner with more information on how you can use it. Useful, huh? That is incredibly useful. We have like an in-game wiki. You can interact with anything around you with the mouse cursor. You can reach quite far with those cute little arms. Punch some trees, pick some flowers, scare some birds. Just go hog wild. Let's go aggro some forest spirits. Take the sacks. Cool. Alright, so... How do I actually equip my axe? Can I just... Oh. Okay, I can just click like this. Wow, I can't really be far away. Our arms do have some range. Okay, I can hold down, specifically. The recipe's unlocked, check your workbench. Uh, so my workbench is... Over here? That was my workbench? This item is out of reach. Uh-huh. Workbench. Used for crafting machines, tools, beekeeping items, and decorative items. Yeah, okay, so I, I didn't know I didn't know we'd actually be able to like decorate a house and stuff like that. We can actually make a little um life out here in the middle of uh I think we're on an archipelago that specifically just has a bunch of uh different types of leaves. Why is there why does the sunflower love me? Beekeeper's delight. Yeah, sure. No special effects. Okay, I probably use it to craft something. Oh hey! A beehive. Can I have your honey? Uh, new recipes unlocked. Uh, output slot. So can I shift click it? Okay, I can shift click it into my inventory. 
Common Queen. Release shift to hide traits. Oh my god, they have traits and everything. Yeah, this is very in-depth. I love these sorts of games. Just, just, just niche little games like this are so much fun. And uh, apparently this one, uh, all, a lot of purchases that go towards it um, also go to conservation of bees, which is a good thing because bees are very, very needed. Very, very important. So... Alright, well, I did some of those things, so... Gathering resources, let's look at this next. Okay, so I need 10 logs. When you click something, you will use whatever item is in your equipped hotbar slot or held with that. Select that fancy axe we just gave you using the hotbar keys or pick it up. Oh yeah, I didn't actually look at this earlier, that's why that's why the trees were taking so long to get down. You can change your hotbar slot by scrolling, now we can do some damage. Try not to think about the fact it's made of wood, I just said don't think about it. Go and right click or left click some trees with the axe, you can hold down, collect 10 logs, and then come back here for a reward. Okay. So, yeah, I do have to actually select it in my hotbar slot. I wasn't sure if it would just auto-default to the best kind of, um, tool for whatever I was, uh, attacking or what. But, yeah, wow, we can, we can, we can deforest the absolute hell out of this place. Look at us go. Oh, yeah. Just annihilate the forest. Okay. I, I, I don't know. It's gonna bother me if I don't destroy all, all of the trees down here. There we go. Alright, um, gathering resources, claim. Cool, so, uh, I got a workbench, I guess. So, resource management now. As you start the deforestation of this poor, helpless world, yeah, already started, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of different things. While you can always see your hotbar at the top of the screen, you can open your full inventory at any time by pressing E. Left click will pick up any item in a slot, move it to any other slot. We'll pick up half of the stack or drop an item from a stack, on a uh, metal mouse button on an item to collect m as many of that item as you have in that menu. Okay, so a lot of Minecraft kind of uh, inventory management. Can I also click drag? No. Not that I feel like you would really need to. So whose crafting table is this? If this is my current one. So, yeah, I need to claim a small crate. Time to get crafting. Grab that workbench we just gave you and plonk it down somewhere. Once placed, you can click on the workbench with left click to view the workbench crafting menu. Go and open the workbench and you'll see a recipe for a saw bench. Get yourself enough logs, craft one, and come back here, would you kindly? I know what you're doing there. Fun fact, the workbench takes into account all items in any open menu, so you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft with them. Interesting. It takes into account all items in any open menus. So if I like, wow, so if I have like a crate, you know, like all the way over here or something. Wait, what? Large crate. What you, what you got in here? Well, you got a verge bee in here and some honey rose seeds. And some sawdust? Well, g well give me all of that junk. I'm just going to steal your stuff. Thank you. Let's grab some more of this garbage. Okay, don't get, don't get distracted though. Don't get distracted. So, uh, here. So, we need to actually craft something. The saw bench. I think I actually want to go out into the woods or something. I'm gonna... Normally, if I was, like, you know, like, doing a full playthrough of this or whatever, I would talk to as many characters as I can, but, um... Seeing as I'm just checking out the demo for this today, I probably want to focus on... actually doing stuff. Hey, you. Can I even... Oh, it's you again. What do you want now? So you've decided to come back, huh? Thought you were too good to be a humble beekeeper? Ah, kids these days. Okay, bye. I guess. Yeah, let's just go over here. Alright, so we're kind of learning what we're supposed to be doing. It told me to... Whoa, I was kind of stuck on the wall there. Um, it told me to kind of just plop it down anywhere. I was thinking I wanted to go into the forest like it did in the uh, thingy, but whatever. We'll just plop it down over here. There we are. So, let me make a saw bench. Cool. Uh, da, da 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 Claim. Next steps. That's all from this introduction, but don't worry, we're not going to leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees to keep you company. I mean, that sounds great, actually. As you discover and craft new items, you'll unlock new chapters of this book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards. So make sure to keep an eye here. Now go, little one. Be free. What? No, I'm not crying. It's just really dusty here, that's all. Just dust. Go. Take this with you. Thank you. 
Carpentry 101. Now you have a saw bench, you can start cutting up your logs into other materials. Place a log on the left input slot and you'll see a little... Oh wow, we actually saw them in half. Click and drag the handle with left and right to cut your log logs into wooden planks. You can also cut wooden planks into wooden sticks, which are useful for crafting tools and throwing at birds trying to steal your stuff. Wow, how dare they? Eventually you'll be able to upgrade your tools and won't have to chop wood by hand, unless that's your sort of thing. No judgment here. Yeah, are we going to get like Factorio slash Minecraft on this, where we uh, will slowly learn how to uh, kind of just automate everything? Just stole all the bees from that thing, because why not? So I actually want to go out into the forest and kind of build something. Um, so I'm going to just go out in the middle of nowhere and start working on something. That just seems like a fun idea to me. I don't want to be stuck over here. Oh wow, this island is not very big. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. Well, let's clear myself a little area out over here and see what we can do. Why don't we? It sounds like a good idea to me. I'm also getting a bunch of wood. Alright, menu magic. As you might have realized by now, there are a lot of menus in this game. If you're unsure what a menu is or what you can do with it, just press the question mark button for some handy hints. Wow, this game has so many, like, cool in-game explanation things. It's like... Kind of amazing how hard they went in on, uh, on just, like, explaining everything in-game in such a nice, thorough way. It's very refreshing. You can move any open menus by dragging the top menu bar. Menus will stay open until you close them or get too far away from them. They just miss you so much, you see. Okay, advanced controls. At this point, you're probably sick of moving things one by one. If only there's a quick way. Luckily for you, there is. There are two menus open, and you can shift. Yeah, I know about shift clicking. If you have more than two menus open, you can use the circle button to set that menu as the target. All shift click items will be yeeted over to the target menu. Wee! You can also press Q while hovering over any menu to set it as the target. Now we're cooking. Bee pollen. Used by many as a homeopathic medicine. Personally, it just makes me sneeze a lot. Produced by common bees. Can be sold for rubies. Oh, of course it's called rubies. Already right, masked quite a horde of stuff. You're looking like a smug dragon lounging on your mountain of bees and wood. At this point, though, it's probably getting hard to keep on top of said mountain. Bull boy, do we have a solution for you? Luckily, your inventory and any crate item have a built-in auto-sort functionality. Simply click the down button to lift in the menu and all contents will be sorted. God, I love things with auto-sort. You can also uh, click with bl uh, the middle mouse button on any empty slot. Ah, now doesn't that feel better? Yes, it does. There we go. I clicked. And you can click down as well. God, the, the, yeah, everything in here with like the menus and everything, super, super nice. You're enjoying the peaceful world of uh, Apico? Want to show off your amazing apiaries to the world? You can turn on photo mode. And blah, 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 love to see the things. I, I don't, I'm not good at taking pictures, I'm sorry. Sticky Pearl. Pearl of pure resin formed from residue that clings to the workers produced by forest bees can be sold for... Okay. The beginning you might find there's not much you can do during the night or while it's raining if you haven't gotten to bees that are active during those times. Benches and beds will let you take a nap. While you're dreaming of bees, time in the game will be sped up. This makes the day pass quicker, which affects trees and saplings you planted as well. And helps weather in quicker. Sleeping in a bed will also set your spawn points. Wait, I can like legit die? <laughs> However, it won't speed up your beehives. Come on now, be realistic. I can die? That's a not what I expected. Okay. Um. So can I just like walk in the water? Okay, wait, wait, hold the phone. We can't just walk in the water. I was thinking this is water I wouldn't be able to get by, but no, we can just walk. Hello. Um, mind if I jack some of your bees? Huh. Yeah, I kind of just want to explore a little bit now, rather than sit here and read tutorials the entire video. There's like a little heart thing over there. Yeah, see, like, out here is where I would love to build a place. I know I chopped down that place over there, but... This is more in tune with nature, you know? So let's uh, chop some things down and see if we can get some like bee stuff going. I, w I would like to do some bee stuff in the bee game demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, I saw this game and I thought it was interesting. I, I didn't know how, how good it would be me LPing it because I probably wouldn't know what I was doing most of the time and people might not want to watch that, but... Uh, since it was coming out, I did want to at least do like a little one-off video for it. Alright. Cool, so we have a nice little open area. Let's, uh... I need to get my crafting bench back, though. Or I could just make a new crafting bench, right? 
Um, well, I do have a regular bench. Saw bench. We can put that down. Like right there. Um, I actually needed to go to a crafting bench to get my stuff. Or to, like, actually craft a lot of these things, so... Let's go over here. Can I just steal the one from this person's house? What's this, uh, thing here? Is it just telling me you can't walk that way? New recipes unlocked? Yeah. Because I picked up a lily pad. Out of the way, please. Thank you. Yeah, definitely getting a lot of, like, Forager, Terraria, Minecraft, Factorio kind of vibes from this. I love these kinds of games. They're, like, so relaxing. So, yeah, let me make another... Oh, you need wood planks to make a workbench. So, can I just pick up a workbench? Doesn't seem like I actually can just pick up a workbench. So, let me just make a few things over here and then we'll make some wood planks back at my other one, I suppose. A large crate could be nice. We need sticks for it, though. Waterproofing. Interesting. What else do we got? Axe. A beehive. I would like to make a beehive. Oh, we need a bunch of honeycomb for that. Okay. Well, now I know how to make my uh, own beehive. Let's go over here and see what we can do. I was pretty sure it said I could sprint with uh, left shift. I'm, I'm very surprised you can die in this game. I suppose the bees themselves can just murder you. Let's uh, just start stealing everyone's stuff. Give me more bees. I actually probably don't need that many bees. Yeah, because they don't stack because they all have uh, separate stats. That is something to keep in mind. You're a blessed bee. Give me that. I want that for my hive. I don't even really know what that means yet, but I want it. And what is this? Like a little greenhouse or something? I don't know what the deal with this. Yeah, this even has water in it. Rain tank. Yeah, this definitely reminds me so much of, like, modded Minecraft. It has so much of that kind of stuff in it. And, yeah, I, I don't know. It, just, it makes me think of that. Like, magical crops and that kind of stuff. Okay, well, uh, whoopsie. Give me all of that. So, the queen has finished her cycle. I have a new queen I could put in here. This can be one of my, uh, thingies. Cool. And, so I'm imagining if I put more bees in, things will progress faster, right? So, why don't I put more bees in? Can I mix the bees? I guess I can. I remember seeing that you could, like, crossbreed and stuff in, uh, these games, uh, or this game, so, um, oh, is my axe dead? Oh, no, my axe is, oh, no, my axe is dead. Okay, well, let's continue punching this tree, because, uh, I wanted to put down, or I want to, uh, try and make a crafting table and then make another, uh, beehive while we're at it. Why don't we? Um... So, how do I... Okay, yeah, I was pressing the wrong button there. Saving? Saving. The game is taking a minute to save. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is cool that you actually have to saw it. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. It was kind of stuck, so I wasn't sure what was going on. Okay, so yeah, you do have to make sure you go all the way to the end. And the game registers you going all the way to the end. Yeah, this is neat. You kind of start off doing a bunch of things by hand, and then you can slowly get to the point where you can just kind of automate a lot of these processes. Alright, new recipes. Uh, let's see here. So, that's just the stuff. So, now that I have planks, I can go back and make another workbench and bring it over here. I kind of wish I hadn't just thrown my other one down over there. I thought I would be able to pick it up again, but... From what I saw, you can't? I mean, it's probably useful just to have them all over the place, if I'm going to be honest. Uh... Close button... Let's see... Move button? Okay, now let's move the menu. Yeah, okay, that doesn't seem like it works, so... Uh, I can craft a beehive. So, craft. Cool. Got ourselves a beehive. Uh, I need another workbench. Ooh, a magazine rack. Use to store magazines. Infuser. Use to infuse wooden materials with resin to make them stronger. Well, that sounds neat. I need a barrel, though. 
which means I need 10 waterproofing. Okay, we've got quite a few things to follow up on now. Yeah, this is way more in-depth than I thought it was going to be, jeez. It really goes hard on the, like, uh, the bee stuff, with, like, crossbreeding and stats and traits and all of this, but... Also, there's just so many other things. Well, I need a bunch of these. Because, uh, are these different than the other lily pads I've been running into? I have a feeling I'll, I would probably hate birds in this game if they're as jerkish as the game is making them out to be. Alright, well, at least it was very, very easy to get a bunch of these. Cool, cool. Yeah, I expected to be able to just, like, pick stuff up, but maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Target button. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe if you have the hammer or something, you can just grab it. Yeah, yeah, it says, uh, interact with, yeah, hammer. That's how you pick stuff up. Okay, yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe an axe or something would work. I was thinking, like, Minecraft logic. Uh, basically. But, no. So, let's put you right there. Right beside the, uh, other thingy. So, I can make, uh, a bunch of these. Oh, I got way too much of this stuff. Which means now I can make a barrel. Which means now I can make, uh, one of these thingies. Yay, look at me getting stuff. Boom. So, that's B-specific. Um... So, yeah, let, let's not put that down yet. I do need another axe. I also need to get a bed. Do I, can I build beds yet? Doesn't look like it. Flooring? Ooh. Grass wall, flower pots, wood panel flooring. Uh, I can make some flooring. Wood edging. What is this for? It can be... Wood panel. Well, I, I let, let me let me make some wood panel flooring. Why don't we? I would like to have a house of sorts, if possible. Let's put some more uh, wood in here. Got to get more into the actual B parts to kind of show that off effectively. But this game is so crazy in depth. I wonder if there's ever a way to uh, speed up this. Besides automation, like you get one where you can saw faster or something. Although I am sawing pretty fast right now. Boom, boom. Alright, so now that we've done that, make some uh, flooring. There we are. My cat is screaming for no reason as far as I can tell. Uh, Alright, let's make a little... Hmm. Well, I probably want to make a... Uh, Probably want to make a uh, axe too, so I can start cutting down some more of these trees. What is this? A canister? Oh, I need sticks. Okay. Okay. Um. So we need to put planks in here. Boom. Sticks. Okay. Well, at least we get a. We only get two sticks for one whole plank, huh? All right. Well, I got a new carpentry reward. New recipe unlocked. Uh, now you have a saw bench, you can start cutting up your logs. Yeah, so I, I was supposed to be doing this earlier. But, uh, I skipped it. Well, we got a bunch of things. Alright, I was trying just to do, kind of do stuff. Excuse me, is that a gun? No, it's a tree tap. Okay, I was like, what is that, a wooden gun? <laughs> I was so concerned. Um, alright, let's put some of our, uh, crates down too, so I can start storing some of this stuff. Maybe. But first, let's clear out some stuff a little bit more, I think. Yeah, let's clear out some uh, more of these trees so I have a, a little bit more room here. Seems like a good call to me because I want to be able to build a pretty good sized house and uh, have enough room for all of our bee shenanigans as well. There we go. I think this is a pretty good spot, so let's uh, swap to this and my cat is continuing to scream. For some reason. I don't know what his problem is. I think he thinks it's food time, but it's not, it's not food time. It was in fact food time two hours ago. Ooh, new song, now playing. Okay, well that, wow, so we have like soundtrack stuff, that's neat. All right, something's going on with my cat. All right, I don't, I don't know what kitty wanted, but I pet him a little bit, gave him some attentions. So, uh, alright, now, since we have, like, a general 
layout of our house. Let's see here. Sorry, I like house building in games. It's soothing to me, so... If I spend a bit too much time on this, I apologize. <laughs> so, these were the walls. No, that's flooring. Where were the walls? Uh, flooring, wall... Okay, there it is. Wood wall. Yeah. Cool. Alright, let's uh, craft some of these. Here we are. So I got 40 walls. Oh no! Uh, well, I can... I can do that, I suppose. There. This just makes my house slightly smaller. My cat's starting up again. I really don't know what his problem is tonight. Um, I need to get rid of these. What, is, what even is that? Uh -huh. I can't harvest it. Weird. Okay, I don't think I can get rid of that then. Um, let's make my base as big as I can. It's not letting me uh, continue past a uh, certain point here. Uh, okay, drop that stuff. I want to use my axe. There we go. I'm trying to chop some of this stuff down. I need a... Why do, why do I need a shovel to get rid of the honey rose sapling? I, could, I should be able to stomp on it to get rid of it, which is rude. Okay, so we need some more sticks now because I need to make a shovel to get rid of uh, the flower. I thought I would have been able to like pick it or something, but no. All right, boom. Give me shovel. Uh, there we are. God, my inventory is so full. That's why I want to get to making some of these other things. There we go, go away. All of you go away too. There we are. See, I'm just trying to make a tiny house really quick. Okay, that's all I want. What is... Okay, I was like, what is stopping me there? But it was me being too close. Oh, but I uh, accidentally boxed myself in because I uh, didn't make a door. Hmm. Hmm. Can be picked back up with a hammer. Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, door's kind of important, huh? Um. So wait, what all did hammer require? Okay, I need more sticks. Yeah, it seems like most of the tools require sticks, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, a few more. I don't even know how to make myself a bed, but I should probably get on that. So, I guess... Well, there are doors. But, yeah. I don't think I can build those yet? I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah... Don't really see it anywhere. I can build fences. A brush? Interesting. God, yeah, there's so much in here. Okay, so I want to make more flooring. Which means I need what exactly? More of those stupid plank things? You? Yeah, okay, no, we can just we can just do this. Cool. Ah, but my inventory's full. Damn it, there's so much to deal with. All right, so let's finally put down some of these crates now that I have the space. There we go. Oh, it's gonna bother me that you can actually just place them anywhere. Oh God, they, they, it's not like grid-based. You can actually just place stuff wherever you want in the world. <laughs> oh, that would bother me and probably a lot of other people to be quite honest. Those ones that will focus entirely too much on lining everything up. Alright, so now I can put some of my bees and a lot of this other stuff away. Uh, yeah. Probably shouldn't have put, like, all of my... Where are you? Oh, yeah, because you're a blessed bee. That is right. I still don't know what blessed bee even does. But neat. Um, cool. Alright, and now I have more flooring. There we are. Look at us. We're good. Fill in the flooring on all sides so I can make sure I have it under every one of my walls. There we go. Hello, kitty cat. Do you want to sit with me? You can sit with me if you would like. Instead, you're just going to scream, I guess. <laughs> Cats are weird. Um, so... Yeah, door's just not in here. I can make a trash can. A wooden trash can. But all right, let, let's let's stop with the house creation stuff. I want to get into 
Finding bees and stuff. Okay. Let's get to why you're really here. Bees. To get started on your beekeeping journey, you'll need to find yourself some bees out in the wild. Different species of bees can be found in different areas. Try having a look around for bees flying around. Eventually, eventually they'll head back to their hive. To start, you'll need a plain old common bee. A bee from the forest and a bee from the shores. Interesting. Okay, so once you find a hive, you can open it with the mouse pointer to have a look inside and take any of the bees with you. You can pick up a hive with a hammer gently. <laughs> so you can pick up hives. So we need a forest bee, a verge bee, and a common bee. I don't have a forest bee. Which strikes me as interesting, um, considering. So that was the other thing I wanted to make was a uh, hammer. Which I need- oh my god, you need so many sticks! So many sticks. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games that's just going to be super peaceful for people to just kind of sit around and play. Um, Alright, let's see here. But it would probably be infuriating for people to watch me play, as you can see. Oh, wow, there's actually a look at our map. God, it's massive. It's such a big map. Oh, my gods. Okay. Uh, Yeah, so I have my hammer now. Yeah, no, I didn't actually make the hammer. Hammer. Boom. Craft. There we go. Give hammer. Thank you. Cool. Alright, so there we go. I want to move that. So now I don't have a door, but I can at least do that little thing. Alright, so let's go... Let's see. I mean, it, forest bees will probably be over here, right? Around here somewhere. Let's just clear out this uh, general area. I don't have another um, queen, so I can't do anything with... Uh, that, really. Um, I can pick you up and move you, though. Yes. Okay. Cool. So let's put you over there. Alright, we can move our, uh, our beehives. Let's start, like, right here. That looks good to me. There we go. Yeah, it's not too hard to kind of line things up. Okay, so we have a... You're not a queen. Input slot... And what are, what are these? So wait, if this is an input slot, output slot... Oh, that's, that's, that's for breeding purposes. So this is where the queen goes, and I can breed the queen. Yeah, okay, okay. So how about we do a verge bee with... Where's my queen? Oh, hey, oh, oh, it had ran out of, uh, the queen, the queen had died. I need to get a new queen for this one, I guess. Alright, well, let's, uh, fill you up with various things, why don't we? And, uh, we can fill this other one up with, uh, some bees as well. I want to see if I can cross bead, uh, cross bead, <laughs> cross bead, uh, cross breed some, uh, bees before, uh, I end things off. Yeah, it, it took a while to kind of get going, but uh, th there was a lot being thrown at me. It was it was a lot to kind of take in. Ah, there's forest bees. But now I feel like I'm at least making some semblance of progress. There's so many trees. And I do have to cut down a lot of them to even, like, get by. Here we go, forest bees. Um, I do wish there was a queen here. This one... Quick queen button. Wait, you don't- I, I thought it was, uh... Oh! Okay, so you can turn common bees into a queen. Okay, I thought- I thought you had to find special bees that were queens. Okay, okay, I didn't- I didn't realize you could do that. This is why you're supposed to follow this thing. But that's why I was going out there in the first place, was <laughs> so I could collect all of these. There we go. So, um... Finding bees. So we did that. So we can claim that and do this stuff. Pimp my hive. Okay, we'll get there. Have you taken the time to stop and smell the flowers? Your bees certainly will. You can pick up flowers with the mouse cursor and place them near your hives for your bees to visit. Flowers visited by bees will slowly spread and grow. Later on, when you have an extractor, you'll be able to get flower seeds from your hives based on the flowers they visited. You'll even be able to discover new hybrid flowers that can have direct effects on nearby bees, such as increasing their productivity or allowing them to stay up late at night. So I need Honey Rose, Swarm Wart, and Beekeeper's Delight. 
Well, I have a few of the beekeepers to light things. Also, I can just grab more by doing this. Now playing Polaris. Cool. Um, I only need one more of uh, these doohickeys. And I'm done there. So we got five of those. There's luckily some of uh, this stuff hanging out in here. Oh, they don't actually have a door. That's just like a spot you walk on. Give me that. I want that. Give. I'm stealing all of your stuff. Yeah. And I think one more will do it. Cool. Yeah, looks good. okay, so we have seven, five, and I think I have more of those things hanging out over here in my treasure chest, right? I believe so. Yeah, right here. Okay, flower power. Uh, have you taken the time? Blah, blah, blah. Claim. We get Abby's folio. Press F to open. You don't need this item on you to open the folio. Okay, well, what's Adam, or, uh, Abby? In this demo, there are only six species of flower to discover, but in the full game, there are over 15 different species to find across three different tiers. Later tiers give even more interesting effects, like more special produce formed or keeping bees awake later at night. Wow, so, like, flowers act as a buff for your bees. That's a interesting mechanic. Crossbreeding flowers is easy. Your bees do all the hard work for you. Every single time I hear about crossbreeding flowers, it just intimidates the absolute hell out of me because I think about um, crossbreeding flowers and like Animal Crossing, which I was just never good at and didn't understand. And also Minecraft has uh, crossbreeding flowers, which I always hated doing. When a bee visits a flower from it, collects some pollen and seeds, all sorts of other flower goop, and takes it back to the hive. When using frames near apiaries, this goop collects in the frames and gets all mixed together. Based on the flowers your bees visit, you'll get different seeds when you extract your frames. You're lucky the different seeds can mix, giving you new species hybrid seeds. Cool. And then we're covering those three things. Okay, well that's interesting. So let's go back to uh, beekeeping 101 here. Like I said, bees are the main focus, so I want to spend a little bit more time on these. Okay, now you have some bees in the beehive, now you can start breeding bees. To breed bees, place two bees in the left-hand input slots of a hive to create a queen. Queen will then get to work and start producing honeycomb. At the end of her lifespan, she'll produce cute little offspring. All bees produced in natural beehives will be direct clones of the queen. Time to make an army of beatrices. So we need 10 common bees, 10 honeycomb. Okay, yeah, so... I need more bees. Hey you, come here. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good amount of them. I have, like, just a ton of bees, quite frankly. We can put some of the forest bees away, I suppose. Uh, yeah, let's put some of those away in there, because I just need, uh, basic ones right now. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just crazy because they take up, like, a whole space. But I suppose they do count as long as I have the menu open as well as we've seen. So if I open both of those, yeah, there we go. We're good. Cool. Now you have some bees and a beehive, you can start breeding bees. To breed bees, place two bees in the left-hand uh, input slots of a hive to create a queen. Okay, so yeah, that's how you create- I thought that was how you were gonna make new bees, was put, you know, someone here with the queen to make... baby. The queen will then get to work and start producing honeycomb. At the end of her lifespan, she'll produce cute little offspring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can put you... up there. Bam. Alright, so now you're going. Good, good, good. Let's put, uh, here, so... And these are outp output slots only. So you will... Do you just naturally mate with all of the bees that I currently have in here? So if I have... One forest bee, you'll maybe mate with, uh, said bee. Wow, they don't live very long. Okay. Well, there we go, that's that, so now I can put you in there as well. You know what, no, let's make a, uh, let's make a queen one of you. Here we go. Yeah, see, that seems cool. Yeah, what, an, what a very, very in-depth <laughs> system that we have going here. Okay, so, we placed in, on grass or a plant pot. Okay, let's plant some, uh, flowers for you dorks to go to, why don't we? Yeah, there we go. See, there's some there's some flowers for you. Enjoy. Cool. 
Yeah, seeing that y'all kind of congregate. Wow, okay. I was a, I was very, very overwhelmed at the beginning of this, just kind of trying to, you know, learn how to do everything. Um, but now that I'm in it, it's much, uh, or it's, uh, it's not much anything. It's, uh, I'm, I'm getting a better handle of it, mostly because I'm also following this, but I didn't want the, be the beginning of it to be just me walking around, kind of looking at this and following this exactly. I did want to kind of explore and just kind of, uh, fuff about for a bit. Now, honeycomb is delicious and, delicious and crunchy. Stop eating it all, but there's far more useful things your bees could be producing. For that, you'll need to create your first proper apiary out of wood and some of that honeycomb you've been making. Once you have one, you'll be able to use hive frames for gathering produce from your bees. Plus, with an apiary, you'll not only be able to get different and more valuable produce, but you'll also be able to start crossbreeding different bee species and start discovering new ones. Yes, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. So, no, 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 no. For that, you'll need your apiary. Okay, so we need to work on getting an apiary. Cool, cool. So, bang. Apiary, apiary, apiary. So, where was that at? I have the infuser already. I should probably put that down. Predictor, re rehabilitator. Basic apiary. There we go. Cool. And I have the stuff I need to make it already. So, uh, where exactly did I need to put this in relation to everything else? And a wood, da da da. Once you have one, you'll be able to use hive frames for gathering produce from your bees. Plus, with an apiary, you'll not only be able to get different and more valuable produce, but you'll also be able to start crossbreeding different bee species and start discovering new ones. Yeah, sorry, I have a cat walking at me right now. So, I also need a wooden frame. So, let's go over there and uh, grab one of those really quickly as well. How do I. Okay, so you can hold shift to snap things to the grid. Okay, okay, well that's a useful thing to know. I'm just surprised it didn't uh, it didn't do that from the get-go, but I suppose it's to allow a little bit more open-ended uh, customization. I suppose my cat is making his way into my lap currently. You want to sit here and uh, harvest bees with me, friend? You got to sit down, though. You can't do that stuff where you just sit here and walk around constantly. All right, so we've done that. So I want to... Mess with this. I need more uh, wooden frames. You're not going to unplug my mic either. Okay. Click to claim reward. Boom. Alright, crossbreeding. This is what I've been wanting to do this whole time. Now you have an apiary, you'll be able to start crossbreeding. When you create a queen in an apiary, it will inherit a selection of traits from both bees. Okay, and, and can become a hybrid. Create a uh, Craft a predictor to help predict offspring traits. Cool. Hybrid queens have a chance that their offspring will mutate and become a completely new species. To get started, crossbreed a common and forest bee together into a common forest queen and see if you can get a verdant species as one of the offspring. Okay. So... Okay, so we have to specifically create a queen in the apiary. So let's go place that over here. What is this little meter? That the time of... No? I don't know what that is, actually. Okay, my cat is moving around way too much. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm trying to play. I got my mic in front of me. And if you won't just sit down, then you can't sit with me. I apologize. I will let you sit with me when I finish the video. Um, cool. So there's an input slot. Let's go grab some bees. Uh, so it specifically said... It wanted me to use, what was it, a forest and another one? Uh, Crossbreeding, common and forest together. Yeah, so do I, did I use all my forests? I think I just put them away, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, here's one. So let's go over here and make a new type of bee. I feel so cool doing this. All right, so... Boom. Boom. And you said, it said specifically, you're, if you're in an apiary. There we go. Forest common queen. Okay. Cool. Now, when did it say you would start doing things? So I need a verdant bee. So, crossbreed. I'm gonna force together and see if you can get a verdant species as one of the offspring. Craft a predictor to 
God, they have traits and all this crazy stuff. This goes insanely in depth for beekeeping. Kind of like a beekeeper's wet uh wet dream for a game. Pretty keen in Can it become a hybrid. Craft a predictor. Queens have a chance their offspring will and I, I guess I guess the offspring happens in cycles, right? Hive production, lifespan. Yeah, so how does uh You know what, let's just follow the book a little bit more. Uh We'll, we'll see. Predictor. Oh, well, it does want me to craft a predictor. How do I do that, actually? Um, predictor. Okay, I just need more of this stuff. Yeah, there's so much crafting and everything that goes into this. Oh, well, luckily I had two right there. Boom. Alright, predictor goes up here. Uh, snap to grid, plop. Cool. God, I have to remember to snap to grid for everything, or it'll be... Okay, so if I take you out... Sorry, I know you were busy, but, uh... Whoops. Sorry, into the inventory, not in there. Okay, so we can see... Uh, you have a chance to... So if I put you with a forest forest... You have a chance for a forest common and an undiscovered bee. If I put you with a common, you have a chance for an undiscovered bee, so... Alright, that's interesting. So, let's put you in here. And then I need some common bees to throw in there. Uh, so that I can help out with that a little bit. Do I have any more commons over here? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Okay, so that was my problem earlier. I didn't actually have uh, any other bees for them to mate with. Hanging out in there. Uh, need more common bees. Let's just grab some from here. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, cool. And we naturally got some uh, offspring over here. So we got some verge bees out of it. So, boom. Neato. All right, well, give me some of those. I need some. And click on the apiary. We can put these in here. Yeah, and you're a blessed bee specifically. You have four in the stats department. Yeah, God, so in depth. Okay, okay, so, baby? Baby? No, no baby. No baby. Okay, well, we'll, we'll let that go for a second and see. Okay, uncapping frames. So instead of making a honeycomb, bees in an apiary will slowly fill up any frames we put inside instead. When filled, you'll need to uncap the frame before you can extract any of the goodies inside. Craft an uncapping bench and open it up. Place a filled frame on any of the left side input slots and you'll see another handle appear. Drag the handle down to uncap your frames. You'll need three scrapes per frame. You also get some nice goopy propolis, which we'll be needing later. Interesting. Oh my god, this game is in depth. Okay, um, yeah, so my, my frame is full. I do need to go ahead and grab that, but I need an uncapping bench, which... How do uncapping bench? I need two wooden frames and ten wooden planks. Oh my god, yeah, I'm running out of planks. So we need to make some of this stuff. This This is definitely one of those games where it's just going to be constant... Uh, I need this, and I need that, and I need this, and <laughs> you're just constantly having to make and build things. There's never, like, a break. You're just, uh, constantly at a bottleneck for resources, but I'm imagining once you hit the, uh, point where you can kind of automate everything, it gets a little bit easier. Cool. Alright, that's probably most of what we need, so we need two of these. And then the uncapping bench. I also need just ten... Logs. Have I seriously? Okay, no, we have not run out of logs. <laughs> I was about to say. There's no way. Uh, alright. Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, snap to grid. Boom. So, let's go ahead and put you... Uh... Oh, wait, what happened to my frame? Oh, I put it down there. Whoopsie. Alright. And... Plop. And let's undo you. Okay, look at that. And we got a uncapped wooden frame. Which I can now use 
over here again. Sorry, inventory. There we go. Uh, so if I put you back in here, you can... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. You, you still have some stuff on you. Can I do it again? Huh. So wait, what am I supposed to do with this? Use an apiary to sort of... Huh. So wait. You're uncapped now. I can't put you back in here, but I also can't put you in here. Again? I thought maybe I could use it again now that I've kind of cleaned it out, but it doesn't seem like it wants to let me. No, go away. Yeah, see, well, yeah, it'll only allow the clean ones. So what do I do with that? Weird. I uncapped it, so I thought it would go back to a clean one, but it did not. Weird. Alright. Well, uh... I... Let's see, we're at 53 minutes. Yeah, I, th I think that's a pretty good point to probably go ahead and stop off. Probably didn't get as much done as I would have liked, but... There was just a lot going on, and you, you never had your baby, you never had your baby. You're actually about to die in one second. Rip! Oh wait, oh wait, there, there we go. We just finished our cycle. No, I just got common bees and a forest common bee. Damn it all. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing crazy special. Okay, well, yeah, that'll that'll probably take time to pull off. But yeah, this game seems crazy in depth for people that are into like beekeeping or just like very niche specific uh, simulator games. So very, very cool. Uh, I'll put the link to the game in the description if you want to try it out yourself. But uh, other than that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this look at Apico off here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.